We're going to get this underway here, if everybody's ready. In compliance with the open public meetings law, I wish to state that on February 11th, 2022, notice of the budget workshop meeting of the Upper Township Committee was posted on the official Township Bulletin Board, the Upper Township website, mailed to the Cape May County Gazette, the Atlantic City Press, the Ocean City Sentinel Ledger, the Herald Times, and filed with the Township Clerks. Tonight's meeting is being video recorded up to the close portion of this meeting and will be available excuse me, on the Upper Township website. I hereby direct that this announcement be made part of the minutes of this meeting. We've already done the flag salute earlier. Should we do it again? Oh, what the heck? Yeah, everybody, please stand <laughs> for flag salute. Uh, the pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just for good I took measure. the comma out of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> the comma and, uh, under God. Okay, um, i got a couple of notes here. We do, uh, we, everybody here has a copy of our budget in front of them. We, uh, basically, uh, our budget is approximately at this point $424,000 over budget, if I'm right. But since then, we've talked to Jay as an add-on, and I think we need to add on for fuel. Because just since our fuel, I signed the bills earlier, our fuel is going up just in this month of January alone, I think about 20 cents a gallon. So we do have to add fuel, and uh, we wanted to add some money on to do a study in uh, the Rescue Squad building to see about the possibility of remodeling that building. So whatever we decide to add on for our fuel number and the study number, we're going to add that to the 424. So, does anybody have any questions before we get going? Yeah, I think if you want to kind of rough out the fuel, uh, I think under EMS you've got to add at least $1,500, probably more like $2,000 to fuel. And for, for trash, for diesel fuel, I think we've, uh, we've budgeted $12,000. Our prior period was $22,000. I, uh, I think we need to uh, up that to uh, about $33,000. So we got we got to throw another uh, $21,000 there. Yeah, going through step by step. Yeah. Oh, wait, recycling before trash. Yeah. yeah, recycling the fuel should go up to at least 34,015, so that's a, that's a plus nine. And I also think in recycling, we're low on tires. We're budgeting 8,500 on, on a prior spend of uh, 15. The uh, fuel affects the price of tires too. We have bumped that up to 17.5 from 85, so that's another 9,000 added. We actually. Just trying to see if there's any other fuel items I saw in here. Okay. Also, I noticed the spend on. Amanda's field, 
2020 actual was uh, 23,000. 2021 actual was 35,000. And the 2022 proposed is 15. I think we may be a little light there. Do we have any justification for the expansion? For Amanda's field, we spent 35000 last year. We're budgeted for fifteen this year. Yeah. Now it's buildings and grounds. It says, yeah. On the field maintenance, is that oh, Amanda's field? Okay. Do we do we know why we spent more? Or? But I mean, it, I'm just afraid you're low, Craig. I, I, did we do any projects here to justify? Yeah, I think that's what happened because we got, because Barbara didn't have enough funding to do something small projects. Yeah. Uh, so we just spent more than we should have. Yeah. Do you think Amanda Field is going to be all right with that? Okay, so all right, so you okay. had some one time items that occurred in twenty twenty one. Okay. Okay. That's all right, well that's good. that's a plus. So it's an allocation. Correct. And if we took the numbers and the totals and what was budgeted, we were still eleven thousand to do it. Okay, then it should be ours. Right. So I think we're okay. Okay. We'll take the nine out. Take the nine out the time. Yep. Okay, very good. That's why you guys are at these meetings. affordable toilets, uh, 2020 actual, yeah, 2020 actual was 11688 We've dropped that by about $4,000. Yeah, but then we moved them onto the beach and it costs more to, they, they're charging us extra. Right, but I, I'm wondering if we have enough in there. I'm wondering if maybe we should, our budget instead of twelve five should be eighteen five. No, because what, we got rid of some too. We started, instead of leaving them at place fields that aren't being used all year, we're now taking them out. So, okay. So like the Takahoe, uh, the lacrosse fields, they're there for a few months and then we move them. We take them out. Whatever so. the cost in the portable lots for 2021 actual, mm -hmm. what was that? 88. Well, this is not actually. So you're, 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 you're missing a quarter's worth of expenses, which is, basically. Which I think is well, how you got to 12.5, right? I'm talking November, December, we're only talking football. Right. And we added four grand to that eighty eight hundred to bring us to twelve five for the for the budget. I think that's probably we got an English shop. What was that? We're probably gonna add one.
we are not going to buy a porta potty because the problem is then we have to service a porta potty. Then we're going to have to buy a truck. Yeah. Then it goes. <laughs> I. Um, what we've talked about, just so everybody knows, um, we'd like to get a porta potty for the beach patrol and put it somewhere either behind the building or even at this, this southern street. I don't know entrance. I don't know if we can put it down there because we might. I don't know if they have if the water has to be hooked up to it or they got pumps in them. I don't know. Um, we might have to. If we put a big, these things are bigger than ones on the trailer, or we might be able to get a smaller one, or maybe it might not be trailerized. I'd like to have running water in a porta potty. For the simple. When I was in charge of salt, I don't know if it's still out there, at least there was a smaller unit that they had at Summers Field. Um, and that would be like the size that we'd be looking at. Yes. Okay. Well, we have a diversified beach patrol. Some people need a porta potty and they need to take care of issues and they need to wash their hands when they're done. We're not all men. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 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 so that's why we're looking for a porta potty it has running water for our lifeguards because our lifeguards are about what 40% okay. women that's enough yeah. detail okay <laughs> we're all good <laughs> we have any idea what that is going to cost that's the question right that's the only that's going to replace a porta potty we have at Strathmere. It's, I believe, Scott Morgan had gotten numbers for it. Scott Morgan's not here today, so. Um, so you know what I'm what I'm looking to do now is just to put anything in that needs to go in before we start making the cuts. Yes, so I mean I think for some reason two thousand dollars stuck in my head. I mean, because I remember him talking to me about it, and like, uh... I have a call on the Catherine. I know they won't go to Catherine anymore. Um, I, I couldn't find one phone number. What do we go with? Their star. Star. Star has a star. And I Googled it, and I couldn't find it. They're Bridgestone. Mm -hmm. They got a Pennsylvania number, because I got a picture of their truck. At, okay. Um And... <laughs> We need to be very cognizant of the toilet people, and they need to, if we do a contract every year, I don't know, I want pickups, we got to get them between X and Y in the morning. We've had them everywhere from 2, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, so. And I don't care if they're picking it up at the ball field at 6 o'clock, but when somebody comes down and rents a, a beachfront home for $10,000, the last thing they want to hear is a porta potty being pumped out at 4.30 in the morning. Uh, the end result of this is we need to add, potentially add that uh, women's porta potty. Yeah. Yes. You just take it up to what we had budgeted last year, which was 18.5. I don't want to cover at least. For our purposes, though, we're taking, at this point now, we're taking one porta potty out of the budget and I'll get number four. Yes. Well, wait, we're not taking the public porta potty on William. No, that no. That's what kind the, of the, the, the lifeguard porta potty you had behind the building? Yeah. We're replacing it with this. Okay. We're not going to okay. line up porta potties there for you. Okay. <laughs> I think so too. So maybe 15? We're at 12.5 right now. We were at 8, 88 last You're 20. You're at 12.5 now. Is that, is that enough? That's, well, we spent 88. I think 12.5 is enough. We had a good savings with going to Star. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have And the same thing I can tell you, when our beaches close, porta potties can go. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, they, they actually, we might have made the call, but they stayed there. We went a couple weeks past later, but then it was Mr. Hanley's there until the third week of September. That's No, he wasn't. <laughs> two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, yeah, two weeks, yeah, okay. Third week. Two weeks after later. 
Yes. So you said the 18.5 will cover the additional? No, we're 12.5 will you want cover. To, you want to keep it at 12.5. All right. Then there's no, there's no change to the season. Yeah, right. Well, that's sports and recreation, but did it, is so it, well, um, is, is there a well, there is no porta potty? The, 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 the porta potties on the Ray Beach Pat Patrol have come through recreation, and, and, and Scott's got the number. You don't have to call, Bill. It was, yeah, it was so let's add two to that to be on the safe side. That puts us at what, uh, 14.5? And then we can try and get some numbers before we sit down again to get a better idea. We're saying we have to put the porta potty up in recreation so that the lifeguards are taken care of. So if we can add two to that 12 flag. And if it changes, we'll take it out again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then we'll get a, a solid John, number. And John, what was the number for fuel that you wanted to increase the trash flow? Okay, we've already. We've already increased it. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it's at twelve thousand now. I think it, I think you're going to need to be closer to thirty-one thousand. Okay. For the for gasoline for it's so we're we're making we're looking at this that it's been divided up between the departments, right? Because that was something we talked about before, where it was coming out of one line item and not being split up between each. So is so that number there may not reflect. Everything. Like you're, you're increasing that, but it's not going to cover everything it was always covering. Am I getting that right, Craig? I know when we talked about like gas and tires and equipment, we were looking at dividing it per department rather than it just being one department that pays for everybody, right? Correct. So those increases, even though they, they, they might be spread out more. Are you talking about fuel? Yeah. I, I, I put fuel increases under a number of different Under products. all of them, yeah. okay. We actually have lifeguards. We had fuel last year. We expended twelve hundred and seventy-six dollars, and this year we budgeted fourteen hundred. So, so we probably want to kick that up to two thousand. Buildings and grounds probably needs a well, shot too. Then I don't Building think. And grounds, I think it's kind of just for low, low lowers. I don't know about two thousand. Township because Explorer is under buildings and grounds, five hundred bucks. That's not we spent two fifty. What's that? Yeah. I mean, we went up $125, but the fuel fuel's probably doubled, though. Yeah. So, I mean, it is. yeah, we might be we might be right, though. We might have to. So, the lifeguard fuel, we're going to have to raise that one. I just increased it $2,000. Yeah, that's, yeah, because last year we spent 12 Yeah. Well, that'll. We won't use as much fuel if we keep it in Strathmere. But the parking enforcement wing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can we, uh, we move it on? Yeah, do we have any more ads? Or? Yes, I want to talk about the, um, uh, the someone to come in and look at our rescue squad building. Uh, I know that there's some money for consul, uh, con consulting Sorry. fees or whatever that's in your budget, Paul, but I don't, I don't think we need to take that out of there if we can avoid it. Um, what do you think it would? Well, I mean, that line, the consulting line for the line right now is for, you've got uh, the rental study. Yeah. Goodbye. Right. So we need to add something in there. How much do you have in for rent control study? Put another project in there. Okay. No, we're not going to. Pre we're going to prioritize our projects. <laughs> <laughs> and the rescue squad would be a project priority. <laughs> so 
the study is, is required because of the planning working process and when it's a match to a plan for the projection of the EP they're going to be funding like $30,000 over the next 20, 25. The other thing too to consider here for that rescue squad building, that's something that we would probably rather capitalize and expense. Well, we'd go to do it, yes. Right? It was is that something? The, 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 can you get the yeah. You can. can you, Oh yeah, well that makes that makes just perfect. roll it up into the yeah yeah that's that's much better that, that kicks off the bond so that just, yeah. that that'll be something we put off till we discuss the, the bond let's get some quotes on it though so we yeah, yeah. we have that's a real number okay so what you need to bond. yes that's yeah John you're right that's a, I forgot yeah okay so, so, I, I actually want to know who, who's going to get those quotes how can we Paul is that yeah. something you guys can do yes. yes. Yes, and there's also uh, Barbara, uh, a not that Barbara, that Barbara, <laughs> a uh, notation in the um, 911 budget about something that can be capitalized. Yes. I think that would be something okay. that we need to do. I think that's seventeen thousand dollars. I think you mentioned in there. I thought that's what it was. Uh, 13k. I'm sorry, 13k. Yeah, so that can that can actually come out and be. That's under. Uh, that's under regional dispatch shared services. Yeah. I know it's in here somewhere. Second page. Oh. So that's a that's a that's a negative. So that's a good thing there too. So. Okay, so with the fuel increase, how much did we add to our budget? Uh, we added 41.4, so now we have to cut 465,000. Okay. Just 13 out there. So we're, so we're 452, right? Okay, we're going to start on page one of our budget thing here, and we are looking for four hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> and we're going to go through this thing and uh, put a lot of things on the table here and talk about a lot of things. And uh, first thing is the mayor and committee salaries and wages. They are what they are. And our other expenses, uh, we have budgeted $16,000, and last year we spent all but 116 of it. And I think that was for like parade candy and mom's out front, mom's out front resolution plaques and stuff like that. So that's uh, the food at the food at point park. Yeah. So I think that's a pretty solid number, and it's got to stay there. Um, clerk's office, salary and wages. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Salaries and wages, are, we have, they are what they are. Um, we get to the other expenses. We have a proposed expense of 45000 Last year, we spent thirty-seven. Um, Barbara, I guess we'll go to you. I, any particular reason for the increase? Or? Um, well, everything's going up. Cost of advertising, um, which is a huge part uh, of my budget. Um, for ordinances, resolutions, um, ads, display ads, advertisements for various things from, you know, adult free babies clinic to a gypsy walk, um, program. Um, that's, that's a 
Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so, so, so we're okay there. Okay, I'm um, moving down to finance and admin. We have salaries and wages. The audit is contractual. That's the study. We have computer expenses. Three thousand dollars, thirty-seven hundred dollar increase, right? A lot of that came with um, as we add employees, we have to add our fault licensing uh, for those uh, different employees. So that's where a lot of that cost came. Okay. Tax assessments, salaries and wages. The other, though, we have a. Uh, Almost doubled that one by thirteen was thirteen thousand dollar increase. You know why that is? Yeah, they are requesting uh, ten thousand dollars for additional personnel to help input state changes to the tax maps in case we have a rebound. In case we have a rebound, or because we have we are. Out. Wouldn't we know that by now? But, I mean, they're not going to call us and say you need to do a review out of more. What's the time frame when they tell you, when they notify you? It's actually a couple months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Percentage. Uh, in, a, in a certain format. format yeah. And they're halfway done. So they either have to be taken back to what they were before or move forward to where they need to be. If we're and actually, to those, a lot of those expenses are administrative work that the tax, the assessor's office has to do internally. So it's, it's not something that the consultant sees as a very hard tax maintenance consultant. So they, they work And this can't happen during the course of a work day? We have to bring somebody else in? That's maybe something we can ask her to, to more clearly define what's going on. Yeah, here's another way to look at this. Total appropriations, we're looking at an increase year over year, 29%. Of that 29%, that amounts to a million fifty thousand dollars. Of that, 823,000, or 78% of that total, is salaries and wages. So I think that tells the story. Yes. The, the question becomes, of that $823,000 number, how much of that is for proposed hires? And that's where, you, that's where you need to start looking for your cuts because they're going to be recurring expenses. Your o and &E expenses are going to continue and they're going to continue to increase and we need to be able to fund them. But the, the real magic of being able to balance the budget is not going overboard on our personnel. Yes. And and salary and wage number does not include health insurance interest. That would be included in the uh, 105 or something. So that's straight. 
strictly, you know, raw wages without any. Uh, I mean, and that's where we have to go before this is over. A thousand dollars here, a thousand dollars there is not going to get us to the four hundred. We can sit here for days and we can get to the number, but we're overlooking the elephant in the room, which is yes. where the where the budgets really grow. I mean, we have to come up with four hundred and what do we have? Four hundred fifty-two thousand now, and. If we took 10% out of everybody's O&E, we don't have it. Right. So what you end up with is you end up at the end of the year with a lot of budget transfers. Yes. And you still have the, you know, recurring costs, which are also going to increase every year with salaries and wages. Yep. So, I mean, the bottom line is, we can go right to the head counts that we're looking at expanding if that's what everybody wants to do. But uh, I mean, do we have a minute here? EMS. <laughs> we we budgeted. $135,000 for three more heads, plus another $90,000 for uh, benefits. So that, that's that's, two, that's 225000 That's That's half our nut right there. For, and I mean, that's with three new hires. That's with three new hires. So yes, that's if we, if we uh, propose hires. If we, I mean, that's, that's I mean, this is stark reality. We also opposed uh, um, recycling one person. Or uh, road department, we had five people. Five people. I mean, if we took if we took um, um, another three out of there, at one hundred thirty-five thousand plus ninety thousand for dollar benefits, that's another two hundred twenty-five thousand. I mean, that's two hundred fifty thousand right there. Or four hundred fifty thousand. That's the easiest way to do this. So I mean, we can go through this O&E line by line, 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 hour after hour, and we're going to be chasing our tail around. Or we, we, can, we still have like I, I do have a uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I don't have here, but I'm just looking at it today. Probably didn't put it in here. Like but the proposal from from. Uh, EMS for three people would actually and the way they have it figured and I, I don't I don't know why it would be wrong would it decrease their um, uh, overtime fees which, well which we're, we're Jay at. I'm not saying it's not yes we had to, and that's why I wish Scott was here because yeah when we hired three how many we hired this summer two, two. Three, three we hired three this year Mm -hmm. And I was told it was going to eliminate our overtime too. Well, there's also other things that came into that. I, I know. That you're well aware of. So. And, and, and just the last pay period, we had 100 hours overtime. It hasn't eliminated. It's, got, it's mm -hmm. gotten as bad or worse. And I don't know what the answer is. And I'm, I'm, this is stark reality. It's a numbers game. We have to cut our budget $452,000. Because if we want to prove anything of a budget above that, we have to go out in front of the voters. And I can tell you. That's you, not going to happen. You, well, well they're gonna be when, when you give the voters an opportunity to vote on a, a tax increase, nine times out of ten, they vote no. And we're going to be back to where we are today anyhow. Well, we've got, we've got money in the budget for to create an assistant administrator. It's not $450,000. No, it's not 450, but it's a, it's a step towards it. Uh, you know, I think we have we have something in the budget for five additional people in public works. We know we have to replace two that have left. That we need all five. You know, these are where we got to look. You know, what are what are we what are we really adding here? We're adding back. You also talk about you know, you have a full time. 
Yes. That's just a full time person who's in here. And I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, construction. We have thirty-seven thousand budget for well, full time or to part time. Yeah, we're, we actually have to budget something, but I mean, that's thirty-seven thousand. I guess was for full time entry level keyboard clerks, but you know, in the benefit packages worth thirty thousand. That's what we budget for every head. We had uh, code enforcement. We were looking at increasing that, uh, but there's 10,000. I mean, if we don't have any of that, I mean, we're, we're back chasing peanuts, you know? So we're, There's like just for for the EMS portion of it, I, the, 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 you know, of some issues that it's not that it was beyond our control. We had people on deployed. We had, you know, there's oh, it's, items out there that are. I'm Jay. Famous. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. yeah it's, you know, and that's that's why we've our policy's been the last couple of years. Every time we had an opportunity, we got a, a part timer with a pulse. We hired him. Yeah. And, you know. Then we heard tonight how part-time employees hurt us. So, I mean, part-time employees actually help us. Yes, yes. That's great. So, I, I, I uh, yeah. That's why we have the number of, of uh, you know, part-timers we have on the EMS side of it. So. I mean, the problem is we have a tight budget. We always have a tight budget. We yeah. always should be tight, you know. So I, I guess, I mean, we have to make some hard and fast decisions here. I mean, we can, of what we need to cut, and, you know, I mean, there's not $450,000 in, in O&E. &E. There's no, I mean, we can have all the employees in the world. If we can't put them in a truck to pick up trash, there's no sense in having employees. That's right. Um, if we don't have pieces of paper for people to generate letters, there's no sense in that. I mean, where, where are we going with this? So the O&E is not, I mean, it, it, some of that is out of our control, the price of fuel and all that. Um, and insurance. Yeah, <laughs> insurance is a, a nightmare. I mean, I think we're going to have to come up and do some real soul searching here, and it's going to be heads. But You might have to add something back in for salt, too. Well, we haven't used a lot of salt, and the problem is, I don't know what salt is a ton. Let's say it's $15. It's going to go up because now of the fuel. price of fuel yeah. going up. Now uh, we're at $18 a ton. So, I mean, we're. we're How much salt you got left? How much salt you got left? And right now we're still buying it under a contract from last year. So that's. And we're buying it in, under a contract. That I don't know how long is this contract good for. It's good for this year. Yeah, it's it's through, through October. October. Oh, that's, okay. And that's a good thing. But, <laughs> but, they still get a, they still but if we don't, if we don't have our salt, if we don't have our salt barn in, it could still clip us for the fuel surcharge. If we don't get our salt barn full, we're in trouble. I mean. Yeah, our biggest line items are salary and wages, so that's where we got to look. I mean, there's things we statutory, like, and we can't cut our PERS contribution. We can't cut our Social Security contribution. I mean, these things, you know, unemployment insurance, it is what it is. I mean, we do have interest on notes and bonds we I mean news we have to pay uh, our capital improvement to the beach replenishment we have to keep that in there because that's actually helps us we actually build a fund and when you 
bond money, you have to actually have a certain percentage on hand. Ready to go. Ready to go. I mean, we didn't, years ago we did a beach replenishment project and we actually wrote a check for it. Yeah, her last one is already going to see me. Yeah, we drove a bill dangle out there. Um, I mean, our zoning boards and planning boards, they are what they are. I mean, construction office, I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we got an O and E of $11,000. $11, I mean, drug and alcohol testing. I mean, I mean, there's not much we can cut. I mean, actually, we talked about your celebration of public events. Mm -hmm. cut some out of that. Yeah, that went from actual expense was, uh, we budgeted 19, we spent 15 last year, and I, we're up to 30 proposed, and I'm not sure how it got from 15, three to 30. Is there any reason that went up, Barbara, or do you want to tell you? Um, Fall Fest um, proposed $10,000. We spent about $10,000 last year between the trust account and the budget. Um, 15,000 we didn't use the that. We didn't use the trust account for Fall Fest. We used that for 4th of July. Yeah. Um, so that three thousand thirty one hundred for fall. Yeah. Went on past years, um, yeah. For fall yeah. I think um, we can probably cut that in half. Put that back down to five. Okay. Um, Fifteen thousand. You and I did talk about that for fireworks. So we had had we had budgeted less for twenty twenty one because we had uh, credit from twenty twenty from the canceled fireworks. So that's about a two thousand dollar credit we had in the prior year. So. So we can cut that probably to, well, 14. That's we're looking at a thousand again. I mean, that's not a huge cut. So what do we want to put, take uh, it down to? Fifteen thousand? It's, it's fourteen from fifteen, and I'm taking ten down to five for the fall fest. The spring fling, we can. I think we can cut that in half too, because I don't even think we need to purchase uh, the eggs for that. The eggs we had purchased were toys, and they're. Uh, okay, okay. So they're just saying. Yeah. That, that I know we have eggs, but what was in them? I believe it was toys, and that was. <laughs> They're good. Yeah, Larry, yeah, that's, he checked, they're good. So we can probably cut that in half too. Let's put that at 25. So where's that put us? 19, 21.5. So for celebration of public events, what did we get it down to? 21.5. So we took it from 30 to 21.5. Yeah. So we have a meeting uh, Thursday to look at, um, Look at the proposals for, for fireworks. We're talking about possibly moving it from July 4th to the Saturday. We're still having conversations about that. So that might, price might actually decrease. There didn't seem to be a lot of hope in it decreasing for the fireworks themselves. It sounded like they were willing to give us a bigger display, but still charge us the same price. Um, so we have to look. I haven't had a chance to. I actually haven't gotten the ladder yet, so I have to look through those. That's not a bad idea. I'm not opposed to it. But the problem is if we do them on the 4th, or everybody else is doing them on the 4th, and you know, we're going to do them... The Saturday before or after, depending on what we decide. So now we're going to bring our crowd up. We're going to have a much bigger crowd. And, and that's really, we have to look at the cost. Of it. The, the idea was to save cost. We might save it on the, the fireworks, but we're going to pick it up on the other side. Yep. That's the... Yep. So that's, we're going to sit down and talk about that this week. We have demolition of unsafe structures in here, which we've had some discussion about that over the years. Um, that's something with this Route 49 property we have. Uh, that's coming down. You know, foundation structures? Yes. Yes. Well, so we, what was the consensus there? Was it? Well, the problem is, 
I can tell you the township's never going to take care of it. Because we're going to put a lien against the property that's already got millions in liens on it and think, well, where are we going to be in line? So I can rest assured yeah. the township's never going to take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want to, We don't want that thing in here anyway because that's a mess. I don't see us demoing it because it's, it's it's like foreclosing on Sam's gas station. Where are we going to go with that? Yeah. Um. It's the not, not to 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 cut this thing out. I think we identified probably our biggest issue, which is per number of personnel. I, I would suggest, Mr. Mayor, that that perhaps that we. Allows, especially since Mark's not here right now, too. That's why I'm tapped in to around other stuff. Yeah, so we go ahead and, and allow my, my, uh, the individual committee people to get back to their their personnel uh, requests to their department heads and whoever's in charge, and allow them to work that out and see where we can get. Like I'll, I'll get with the EMS and, and Scott actually too as well. Yes, you know, Scott here as well, and we got um, you know. You know Mark's not here, so if you have them together, they can get with Craig and do whatever they have to do and get this thing down to where it needs to be. And we have to we well, figure it out. Like, like I think, like John said, it's not coming at, we're not going to find $450,000 in OD. No, Even, I'm, yeah. I'm, well, we're picking at peanuts right yeah, now, but yeah. I'm, I mean, you, I'm giving you a list of where I saw some, yeah. we got some facts. So um, and I, I'm trying to find it on one here. I, don't know. I really think we can get there if we just take a good. We got to take a hard look at it. We have we ha we have to come up with. I mean, and there's not and there's some assumptions in there too that I know of, and I, we have no idea what the union contracts going to end up settling. We have no, you know, that 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 could be another fairly large chunk of change one way yes. or the other. Yes. But we don't know. That's right. And that's, um, that's considered for in there somewhere though. Yes. So, it's budgeted for certain increases, but right. we don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, we're already, more or less. So. We're already talking about an increase that was a little bit more than what we're budgeted for. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's going to be some tough fact finding here, and this is. Uh, well, I guess the next. Well, you run away, right, John? Yeah. So, but we're at our next meeting. You'll be here for right. Yeah. Okay. At our next meeting, this is scheduled for 6? 6.30. 6 mm -hmm. I'd like to be... That's still before, yeah. I'd like to do it before and 6.30. I'd like to see us at least at 5, so we're going to chew on it for an hour and then actually get up and walk around the room for a minute. Um, that's it. If we can do it earlier, I'd be better. Um, you know, I, I think that you, you can always you can always get through the O and E and you can tweak it a little bit. Yes. Because you're never going to find your real money there because the you know the O and E you're going to have one time occurrences and things that are going to happen last year that are never going to happen again for the next ten years. Yes. I so mean, there's you've got a there's not four hundred fifty thousand dollars in fat in our O and E. There's not. There's no way you. Uh, Yes. So, is the five is fine because it's six thirty meeting, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is everybody everybody good with that? Yeah. So and then and, and, and this, I did think yeah, tonight was productive because we did, we did discuss obviously things that have to be increased, you know, regardless of you know, fuels and. Huge example. The porta potties are another, and the rest of the squad buildings another. Yeah, yeah. And, and, the mean, port, and now you know why I told you to encumber the money last year for those boxes. Because <laughs> we wouldn't be having wooden boxes on the beach. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the kind not of that stuff. I'm a fortune teller, but I saw this one coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. We'll see you at 5 o'clock next week. If anybody has any questions, please do not hesitate to call me, call the auditor, 
work with your departments, and let's try to get this thing uh, lean and mean. That's...